In today's video, I'm going to tell you all about the dress that I made. I hope, hopefully it shimmers when I move. I'm going to show you a picture of my granddaughter in the Halloween costume that I made for her. And also, I've got some tips and tricks that I thought of when I was working on this dress. Things that I thought maybe would be helpful to you. If that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my channel, Running With Scissors. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'd like to thank Jen and Today in Jen's Sewing Room for starting this hashtag so that we can all get together on Fridays and share how our week has gone. Now, when I was making this dress, I talked to you about this last week, I came up with a few things that I hadn't thought of that maybe you hadn't thought of either. One of the things that I didn't realize when I bought this fabric, and I really liked it, it just feels so good, but when I'm laying it out and getting it ready to cut, I realize this fabric has a nap. Why I didn't figure it out before, I don't know. But see, when you rub this way, how smooth. If you rub that way, it's kind of rough. It's kind of like rubbing your dog, you know, the wrong way. Um, I realized there was a nap. Now, when there's a nap, you realize you do have to make sure you lay out your fabric or your um, pattern pieces to where everything is going to be going down like this. Like, I want the sleeves to be smooth going down the front, the back. If you don't cut them just right, then you'll have a piece that that you have to rub up to get the smooth. You have to, you know, that's what that's what the nap is. Also, um, corduroy can sometimes do that. When I made my corduroy pants, um, you know, you rub it this way, it doesn't feel as smooth. You rub it that way, it's smooth. So you do have to worry about nap. And they'll even tell you in some patterns, not suitable for nap or one-way design. So you have to watch out for that. And two, you might need to buy a little extra um, fabric because when you're cutting out your pieces, sometimes you can lay a front and a back next to each other. But if you have a nap, then you may have to turn the other piece um, the other way and there won't be room for them side by side. You might have to turn it and um, so that will make, you might have to use a little extra fabric. The same thing with a one-way design. I use this um, fabric when I made the um, uh, dress a girl dress. And sometimes when you're looking at pattern fabrics, you have to look at it from both ways. See, there it is, pretty. But if I hadn't been paying attention and didn't watch how I cut out my pieces, I could have had some of those butterflies flying upside down. So that's something you have to take consideration with your fabric. Is it a one-way design? Most of the time when you look at fabrics that are, that have got like little designs, um, that type of thing, they tend to have the, the, the pattern, you know, some go this way, some go that way. And, and when you look at it, it either way will be fine. But in this particular case, and in some places, you have to make sure that the fabric is all going down the same direction. Another thing too with your plaids. Matching plaids aren't too difficult, I don't think, but sometimes it takes more fabric to do that. I made these shorts this summer, bought the fabric from Walmart, and if you look, and I'm pretty proud of this, if you look at the sides, you can barely see the seam. I thought I did a fairly good job of matching the plaids. Same thing with the pockets, you know, you can and it matches. The deal with matching plaids is this when you're cutting out your um, fabric, you know those little notches. Some people like to just clip. I think in this case you need to actually cut a, a, a notch to the outside because when you lay down your fabric, let's say you're laying down your pattern on the fabric for the, the front, you put your notch and you just find a spot, you know, uh, find a spot for it. Maybe it's, maybe it's on this line or it's on that line. Find a spot for it and pin it. And when you pin the other one, you take that notch, the notch that's going to be connected to the notch of your uh, other piece. And you want to put that notch on the same place on your fabric, whether it's, you know, this line, that line, wherever you decided to put the first piece. And that's why it may take a little more fabric because you just can't lay them anywhere. You have to put it the notch has to match 
the other notch and you may have to pull it down two or three or four or more inches to put it in the right place so that when you put them together then you will have it match. So those are those things that I, I was thinking you should think about when you are laying your um, pattern pieces out on your fabric. Do you have a one-way design? Do you have plait or even stripes? Or do you have a nap? So those are things that, that you might not think about. And like I said, when I bought this fabric, I didn't really pay attention. There was a nap to it until I went to lay it out. And I always buy a little more fabric anyway, just in case I have an issue. And I still have plenty left. But that's something you have to think about. Okay? So, now, and I will show you a picture of this in a minute. Um, the, uh, the little outfit I made for my granddaughter, I mentioned last week that, you know, it, it wasn't my best work because the fabric was kind of iffy. It wasn't really great. And I tell you, I wish I would made it a few inches longer. It was supposed to be a dress, but it came out more of a tunic length, which was fine because she wore a pair of black pants with it. But it came out really, really cute. And I, I will show you a picture of that that I took of her wearing that. What was really neat is that even though some of us or most of us don't know who it was she was you know, portraying, um, the Anya Forger from Spy Family. I found it as Spy Family, not Spy X Family. The X in the middle is not supposed to be pronounced. It's kind of like when you have a hyphen in a word. You don't say the word. You don't say hyphen. You just say the words. And I looked that up on Wikipedia because I want to know more about this particular anime. And they said it's Spy Family. The X is just there kind of like a hyphen. Who knew? So... Anyway, when she was out trick-or-treating, someone actually said to her, and it was another kid, of course, said, I know who you are. You're Anya Forger from, from Spy Family. So it was kind of neat that someone actually knew who she was. I imagine most adults would have not a clue. But I thought it came out really cute, and she looked adorable in it. Okay, so I will show you a picture here in just a second of me wearing this dress. I worked at church Sunday, actually, and... Um, I like four different people commented and said they like my dress. And that's always nice. Here's a question for you. When someone says to you, I like your outfit, do you tell them you made it or do you not? I guess it all depends on if you really like it and thought you did a good job or do you feel like you're bragging? Um, are you afraid someone will find out you know how to sew and they'll want you to make something for them? I don't know. But I don't know. When I make something and someone makes a comment about it, I do tell them that I made it. I, I just, um, I don't know if that's being too prideful or not, but I, and, and I let them know, and it's kind of fun. All right, well, that's what I have for you today. Um, I need to get a haircut in the life, as you can see. Um, yeah, I need to get a haircut, and don't ask me to, to cut it myself because I've tried cutting my bangs myself, and it's, it's a fiasco. I, I pay the money to have someone that knows what they're doing to cut my bangs. Maybe they'll be shorter next time you see me. All right. Well, so I'm going to put up, pop up some pictures of me in my dress and my granddaughter in her costume. And I will see you all back um, next Friday on hashtag Friday Sews. Oh, I did mention that, that top I was making. I'm working on it. I'm going to take my time because it's got collars. It's got cuffs. I'm just going to be slow and steady with that. I don't want to rush into it. I've only made one other top with um, co collars and cuffs. It was for my grandson. Gosh, he was little. He's probably three or four. I made him a shirt, and um, it came out pretty good. I don't have it here with me. I already show it to you. But, um, yeah, I want to take my time on this one and make sure it, it looks good. All right. Well, I'll see you next week. You take care. God bless. Bye. Mm -hmm.